Hello viewers, hello listeners, hello everyone. Thank you once again for joining me. Please don't forget to subscribe if you are coming here for the first time. If you're regular, just do the usual. Please like and comment and also share our video so that others may also see what we do here. Because what we do is we give you current affairs in real time. So yes, the streets always have these issues. I wonder how or why. I wonder what happens for these issues to leak on the streets, especially on those streets of Twitter. Right now we have got a story. Of course, we saw... Uh, Vice President Mpegazela Nkomo, he was trending. I mean, Vice President Mpegazela Mpoko, he was trending over the past few days, having attended a rally in Kai that was hosted by the President Emerson Minangakwa. Now, we must resolve an issue. They are saying that former Vice President Mpoko was forced to attend the Kai rally. Of course, we know that uh, their relationship broke down when, Nelson, when Emerson Minangakwa came to power his relationship with uh, VP Mpoko broke down. Of course, Aka claim during the rally with Zuni, they were they have been friends till they were a tender age, which was also confirmed by a lot of people because you know the uh, Emerson Nangagwa is originally in the valley. I think President Velu one of your mama 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 ma titles a kawanda or ma mama one of your ma tribes a kawanda one one of these originally from Zambia and one of these originally from and the Ndevele clan. But what is undoubted is that Anga and a working relationship now Poco ever since they were young. So now <coughs> people are insinuating that former vice president Mpoko was forced to attend that Nkai rally. And here are the are, are, are a few suggestions as to why people think so. They say that his business was targeted and destroyed. Of course, yes, we saw one of his businesses, the Choppies industry, we saw that it has been receiving a fair share of targets and recently it was evicted from the a shop for allegedly failing to pay rent. So people are saying that all those targets were just warnings for him to say, please endorse this uh, government and we will save you. They say that family was persecuted, including trumped up regis, rape charges on his son. We won't comment much on that because at times people really do this. Like the Munangagwa, which he committed the crime. So this might not be a trumped up charge, might pass so, but might actually be a, a real charge on the person of the uh, vice president's son. Then he is said to have lost property, including threats to grab his farm. Of course, this happens. Okabuda Musangano, Hans Kunzekuno Tonora. So Okabuda Musangano, there are those things that we are promised could might happen to you. Actually, was under spotlight after being suspected as Kasukuere ally. Yes, it is said that. Vice President Mpoko was one of the people that was supporting uh, Sevia Kasukwere. Of course, Sevia Kasukwere had managed to gain a sizable number of former ZANU-PF stores who wanted to rally behind him at all costs. And, Kas and Mpoko was seen as the Blawayo factor or as the Ndewele factor in all this. He was, he was said to be supporting Sevia Kasukwere and this was uh, to be announced when Sevia Kasukwere arrives in Zimbabwe. So that is what is in the streets. People are saying that VP Mpoko was forced to attend this. And I don't know how these people do this. Just look at the picture that was shared of uh, uh, Vice President Mpoko at the rally. He was forced to remove his trademark yet and given that cape he is wearing. But his face seems not to be happy at all.